मोर नाम सेरहन मोसाहारी मोर नाम बुद्धिसुर बर जयसन बसुमतारी आगर शिकारी करिसुलु शिकारी बारा हरिन हाटी मारिसु हाटी रस्तामन मारिसु मोर हाट आगत शिकारत जावा हमयत गाहुरी खैसि तेबा हाथियु मार खाय मार खाय कितेबा बारा कितेबा पहु इगलाखन मार खाय हाथि पोसिस्टम होसियारो गाहुरी तु हिसाब नै आरो हरिन बिलक तु हिसाब नै नॉट लॉन्ग बैक पोचिंग वाज अ बिग प्रॉब्लम इन द मानस नेशनल पार्क ऑफ असम Another major problem has been timber smuggling by illegal immigrants who have settled along the fringes of the park. For almost 20 years, the park authorities did not have control over the damage done to the forest through timber felling, poaching, and armed political unrest. Tourism was almost non-existent during this turbulent period. Manus National Park, a UNESCO World Heritage Site, entered the infamous list of World Heritage Sites in Danger in 1992, triggering a conscious conservation effort by concerned authorities. While the issue of protecting Manus was an emergency, the national park was facing an acute shortage of staff and infrastructure. The famed tiger of the reserve was dying out at a fast pace. All efforts to protect the tiger including the ambitious project tiger launched in 1973 did not reach the desired results and the single cause of this failure was poaching To make matters worse a large number of existing forest guards engaged in the national park were over 40 making them physically unsuitable for policing inside the rough terrain Uh, Manas uh, has a long history. Uh, it's a very good park. I saw it first in 1967, a long time ago when I was a young man, and I was very impressed at that time and I still am impressed with the kinds of biodiversity here. Assam uh, as as Assamese know is probably one of the hardest places to work in the world because of the problems the political problems in the last 10 years one third of these lower area of the uh, reserve forests have been destroyed through illegal log smuggling and and such but still it's a very important area situated by the river manus the national park has a forceful beauty with a deep poignancy about it the river flows through the rest of the park where it splits into two separate rivers the beki and volka duba to join the river brahmaputra further south the royal manus national park lies on the border with bhutan 41 km north of porpeta road township in 2003 After a political settlement was arrived with the Boro community, Manas Mojigendri Ecotourism Society was initiated by the All Boro Students Union. The main aims of this ecotourism society was to free Manas from the tag of World Heritage Site in Danger while addressing people's livelihoods in the villages surrounding the protected area. Volunteers appeal to the villagers to give up poaching and arms struggle. Since then there have been a number of surrenders by poachers wishing to be integrated into the conservation project. Many Boro youth tagged as insurgents got together to relive their century old conservation tradition. And with the support of the Manus Tiger Reserve Administration formed the ecotourism society understanding that exporters know the inside of the park like no one else the society engaged them in patrolling and development work within the area they now patrol 250 square kilometer area of the total 510 square kilometer of the park and so In a strategy to provide employment and conserve the forest, 
a sustainable tourism development model is being practiced today. जो ये मानस मोजी को दर्जन सोसाइटी वो मानस की कंजर्वेशन और इको टूरिज्म के लिए काम कर रहे हैं। हमारे वहाँ तो बहुत शिकारी था, ये सोसे भी ज़्यादा था, जो शिकारी था उनके घर में गया और इन लोगों को हम लोग रिक्वेस्ट किया, इन लोगों को हम लोग एक मीटिंग बुला के गांव में जाके एक मीटिंग बुला के अवनेस के बेन करके इन लोगों को मोटिवेशन देके हम लोग मानस में पोस्टिंग करने के पोस्टिंग करने को हम लोग मना किया फिर मानस को प्रोटेशन करने के लिए हम लोग इनको हमारा जो कंजर्वेशन फॉलोंटियर बनाया हम लोग बोथलेन इस लोकेटेड इन ए वेरी वेरी स्ट्रेटेजिक फ्ले� which we can develop in an international standard of ecotourism center. The whole community we want to involve and then uh, so that more and more number of individuals and agencies interested to work for development of ecotourism in our flesh come and work here. The greatest challenge in Manawachi is uh, how to teach our people to conserve, to protect and love forest and uh, wildlife. And then we have to build the infrastructure that uh, uh, that's necessary for uh, ecotourism. The initiative has started showing results with group-based micro-enterprises coming up. Moji Kendri is trying to work across borders to conserve the park with participation of people and forest officials from India and Bhutan. The project is based in Kokilabari in the Bhuyapara range. The local communities have pitched in to save their historical and cultural heritage. The culture of the Boro people is influenced by the land and the surroundings they live in. They have always maintained a symbiotic relationship with their natural habitat. The region does not have easy access to market for major industrial products. This project is empowering the local population with skills to come out from years of political instability. The model is designed with people-centric development as the focus. The boys of Mojikendri are busy clearing roads inside the park building watchtowers and nature trails, guiding tourists into the heart of adventure. An estimated 120 poachers have surrendered and taken up their new roles sincerely. Elephant safaris and jeep rides taking tourists into the heart of the tiger reserve are active again. With emphasis on tourism, new changes are coming to the area. Roads, electricity, livelihood options are just a few of them. The transformation in Manus is near complete. Once a dangerous area, today one finds a harmonious community life here. Sounds of singing and music fill the breeze. A festive spirit enticingly invites, opening up the little secrets of this rich heritage. Manus waits to be rediscovered. <laughs>